Hi everybody, it's Mel from Everything Marmy. This is part three of Build Your Boho Bunny Book, if you will. And hopefully the camera mount stays pretty still. I've had to record this part twice now. So this is what we ended up with on our last um, part, the part two. Okay, so this was the, um, it would end up being the back of the journal and the flip that opens up. And then this would be the inside and the top. And it's picked up some of the newspaper from where I was collaging on. Now in the beginning on part one, if you wanna do a hidden pocket, the reason I didn't mention to do two of these is because some of you might not want a hidden pocket. If you want a hidden pocket, please go back and repeat that step again. Then you will have another one. Okay, and perhaps I should have, I probably should have told you that in the beginning, but I wasn't thinking because when I made this particular book, I used a cereal box to make it. And so um, to make the pockets here, I used magazine cuttings to make this. So that's what you can do if you choose not to have a hidden pocket at the top. You can just lay down some magazine, um, magazines that you fold and you can tape them with either, um, I would use everyday um, masking tape just to tape them because then you can still work over top of them. Um, and that's what I did here. Okay. But in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that we're using file folders and we've got two of them now. And they go back to back like this. Okay. So this would be the outside of the front. This would be the back and it would basically, this is your book here. And to make a hidden pocket, what you need is to have something over top of that back part to have those pockets put in place. And now we can use this piece here to make the one out of the two pockets. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now I'm just going to angle the camera down and I'm gonna show you that part now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to determine what angle I want my first pocket to be. So I want it to still be attached to this main part to give it some strength. I want it to go up to the corner and I want to give it some angled. So I'm just going to just go on a whim here and draw a line diagonally like that, leaving about an inch from the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead with my scissors and I'm gonna cut that. And like I told you guys before, it really doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Mistakes are part of the process. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you'll end up with something that looks like this, okay? So then you wanna get your glue and I'm using Barely Art glue here. And I'm gonna unscrew it because I want quite a bit of glue and take that pin out. Move everything off the table. Lay this properly so it says top and outside. Okay, so that's what I want it to say inside here, but I want that to say outside, okay? Because this pocket is going to be on the outside. And when you cut that and lay it against it, you're gonna still see the outside. That's why I had you write that there. And this is gonna cover up the inside. So all of that muck and mess, we're not gonna see anymore. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue all around the outside here, up here, down here, up here, down here, and around so that something can go in just as if you were making a pocket in any other journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I'm gonna move the original one out of the way when I do that. And I use quite a bit of glue. And then once we put the glue on, we're gonna have to let it sit for a while for it to dry. 
but I want to make sure there's enough glue on there that when I turn this over, I can match it up and get it in place. And this glue will dry clear. So whatever glue you use, just make sure it's good, strong glue. And I'm gonna put this in alignment with the one underneath. And where did I put my baby wipes? So I find if I press down, then I can see. And again, because this is just the shell of the book, we don't need to be too worried if it isn't quite perfect at this stage. It really is okay. And this uh, manila folder will hold up to a baby wipe. So now I'm gonna leave it flat and let it dry. And already you can see that one is a little shorter than the other because when I first cut mine, I didn't make it five and a half. So the secret is, is to cut it just a little little less, about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch shorter so you can see that hidden pocket there. Okay. And then you've already got one slidey pocket to work with there. And I will come back with the next part because now we have this piece that we just cut off that we're gonna use this piece now to make the second pocket in the front of the book. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back. I'm back. So this is pretty much dry now. It took about, I guess about 15 minutes. It's not fully dry, but it's pretty much dry. We're gonna put this piece to the side. And I have pulled some extra papers from a couple of magazines that I had um, from the HT, HGTV and from the Oprah Quarterly for some images that I wanted that were more um, about greenery and housing and just these sort of images here of the tree with the green on it and the branch that grows out, trees and you know the bird here and those kind of images there. And I did that for some extra color. I wanted some greenery in the inside of the book. So what I wanna do now is I wanna collage just like I did before, except I wanna do it on the inside of the book now before I put down the, um, the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some more collaging with some glue and my sponge again. And I'm going to fast forward this whole part because you've seen me collage the outside of here. I'm simply gonna do it again. I'm gonna be very careful about this pocket here, but I am gonna collage over this pocket a little bit and tuck under. And if you really wanted to, you could have collaged this uh, part before you put on the second sheet, but I didn't see the necessity in doing that step. So I'm going to pause it now so that way I can fast forward through all of this collaging and you can just watch me and fast forward through this part.
Now we want to uh, take this scrap that we've made here from cutting that piece out of that corner when we first started with our second piece. And we want to Mod Podge this before we put it on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it all and then just take about half an inch off the bottom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I can find my supplies in this mess. And I wanna make sure that the pocket is going to be where I want it to be. Because I actually, I don't actually have to take off too much. I could leave it just like that, you see? And the reason I added color is so that you could see the difference. So there'd be a pocket there and a pocket there. So in fact, I'm just gonna leave this and just go ahead and just um, in slow time add some um, papers to, and maybe you noticed in my, my last clip that my sponge broke in half, but that's okay, I still used it because I used one to apply the glue and the other just to smudge it. So I'm just gonna cover that up and I want some nice green, something green and vibrant on this one to really light it up. So I'm going to use this piece here. And I'm just gonna cut out this image. Light and airy and green, because at this point, all I know really is that I want it to look like there's some outdoors space. So I'm just gonna take some of this glue and just throw it down on the back of this. And I'm gonna fit my piece on top of that, right into the corner, as much as I can do it. And this stuff dries super quick, super quick. So that's a nice little and then I'm going to have to glue over the edges here. So when I cut it, I need to cut past the glue. And then have the glue come around and wrap it. Just like that. So it doesn't look too pretty at the moment, but that's fine. It will in a second. I take my baby wipe, I wipe off the excess glue and I cut off the extra piece. And now I have my pocket. And I like to kind of clean as I go, otherwise I lose stuff. So I'm just gonna take all of these papers now and just sort of push them back. So you can all see what I'm doing. My hands a little wipe and now I'm going to take this barely art glue again and I'm going to glue on this pocket and this is a pretty simple um, way of adding a corner pocket this is a, a method that you can use with anything you're doing with any page you're doing in any journal. So now, this is what our book looks like so far. We've got the front, we've got the inside, and we've got the back, like that. Now, of course, this back is going to be different because on this back, we have more pockets, you see? So we wanna do more pockets on the back of this. So, we're just gonna fold this page open like that. We're gonna take our file folder. And we're gonna make a couple of pockets. And the best way of doing that is just taking your file folder and the edge of the back page and laying it flush with the file folder. So here's the file folder. Here's your, your book. 
and you want to lay it and line it up and then take your pencil and I'm working with a tacky book right now it's still pretty tacky wet and I'm just going to cut or trace out this square just like that and now I'm going to cut that out So ideally, if you want a hidden pocket, you'll need two file folders and so now we want to put a back on here, but we also want to make sure we know it's going to fit corner to corner. So we want to make sure that we want to know how big our pockets are going to be. So on this one, again, I just have two separate pockets, one and two. Okay. So, I'm going to take my ruler again. I'm going to stand that baby up so it can dry a little bit. I'm just going to go corner to corner. Corner to corner. And draw my line. I'm going to cut that in half. And I got to tell you, it, it's, it's a whole different process when you're filming it and then uh, recording it, as opposed to just um, doing it and, and not thinking. Because I don't usually do a whole lot of thinking when I'm crafting. So... What I've done is I've cut the pocket half there, and what I want with the second pocket is for it to come down like that. Okay, so again, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to line it up where I want the second pocket. I'm going to take my pencil and mark the bottom of the area that overhangs from where that pocket is. Okay, so that one's on there like that. I wanna line this one up like that and I wanna draw a line across the bottom here and then get rid of that material. So that's all I'm doing now. And I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, so again, I want to put some material Mod Podge on this. So I'm going to fast forward this stage as well. So that was exciting, wasn't it, folks? So we put on the front and the back cover. We uh, did our hidden pockets. We now have a front hidden pocket, top and uh, front and back. The glue is still drying a bit. It takes 24 hours. We have uh, two vertical pockets in the front of the book and two vertical pockets in the back of the book. And we need to let this dry. But now is the perfect time to... Um, 
once you let it dry about, I guess, another four or five hours, if you want to layer it up more and use your Distress inks, if you don't have Distress inks, you can use like markers and do another layer of um, decoupage on top of that. You can and then go ahead and collect up your papers for how many you want to, to build inside the signature here. OK, because this is the book essentially right here. And uh, because it's five and a half inches in one direction, that'll be 11 inches. So an eight and a half by 11 um, eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper will be perfect for this project. All you have to do is trim off some of the top. And so go ahead and collect your papers. And our next steps that we'll do is we'll get those assembled, put them in the book and uh, sew those up. And, um, and we'll go from there. Anyway, folks, remember we're perfectly imperfect, love wanted and needed. And I thank you for your time and watching. And hopefully this has helped you um, understand the process of putting a journal cover together instead of just maybe a cardboard box that you just fold in half. Now you've got fancy pockets and you've got more skills in your back pocket, hopefully. I thank you all for watching. Again, uh, I am very grateful to you all. And I will see you next time. I love you all. Bye for now.